แม่จูมอยไทฟเตอร์และ now let's move on to our third bout เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับมาลุยกันต่อกับปวยคู่ที่3ของรายการมวยไทยไฟเตอร์และมวยคู่ที่3นะครับสนับสนุนความมันโดยยาสีฟันเทพไทยใช้นิดเดียวปากสะอาด Our ladies and gentlemen, Eternal Singh, your Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing the Khon Rat Chasima Province. 16 years of ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Khun Pan Samon God Your Thai. Your Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing the Khon Rat Chasima Province. 16 years of age. Khun Pan Samon Gan Yota. And his supporter in the red corner. And the Thai warrior. He representing Bangkok. 27 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Atasuk Sa Rung Rong. Your Thai warrior fighting out the red corner. He representing Bangkok. 27 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear red for Atasuk Sarunrong. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Moving swiftly onto our third fight tonight. This bout is set at 58 kilograms, and both our fighters are from Thailand. In the blue corner, we have Khun Pan Samon Kan Yota. He is 16 years old. He's 168 centimeters tall. He's had 45 fights, 31 wins, 12 losses, and two draws. In his last four fights on Max, he lost by TKO in the second round to Lucas Collier from Uruguay. He lost. He won by TKO in the second round against Banmi Sit Matran. He won by KO in the first round against. Hanom Rung Noi, Superlek Muay Thai. He lost by TKO in the third round of his last fight against Pit Rik Thai Dam Sit Pa O. He trains out of the Sam Korn Yota Gym in Buriram. He's trained by Boon Mak Sam, Mo, Sam Korn Yota and he's managed by Nai Bratserit Sim Ma. His opponent in the red corner, Achasuk So Run Rom. He is 27 years old, 175 centimeters tall. He's had 75 fights, 48 wins, 22 losses, and 5 draws. On his last contest on Max, he's fought here once before. He won by TKO in the second round against Pet Dam, Luk Wang Chompu. He trains out of the Saw Run Rom Gym in Rayong. He's trained by Gerti Sak Trong City, and he's managed by Sarayut Run Rom. So, Kun. Now, Archer Suk is a stable mate of Noknoi, who won our first contest tonight. It's got to be our shock win of the night, I suppose, you could yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't expecting him to win it, actually. In fact, on our unofficial scorecard, we had our, his opponent one man winning that fight. But hey, just goes to show we're not judges, we're commentators. We had here. him up two to nothing, but yeah, that's definitely the shock of the night thus far. But well, that just goes to show, I mean, that was all just down to the last round where one mate just ran out of gas completely and Not Noi just took advantage of that. His body language looked absolutely horrid in that last round, in the last stanza of the round. Yeah, it just goes to show you need to have that poker face all the time. Okay, third fight underway now. Both these two are southpaw. And speaking of which, I remember in my friend Johnny Betts' fight, his opponent, the same thing, his body language just looked horrible. I mean, obviously I wasn't working that night so you guys got the closer view than i did but uh, it looked it's absolutely well, terrible we said it we said it on the commentary that it looked it was just like weird to see a, a foreigner out clinch a tie oh he, he was just completely beat you could tell on his face he was completely beat and here we go strong lock and strong clinch from archer Suk. oh big knee there from archer Suk. it looks a little bit low but I tell you, what's worrisome is that clinch of Archer Sook. That lock he employs. Oh, that was horrible, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. 
I, I just, yeah, if I'm this corner, I'm saying, hey, look, man, don't punch, just get in there. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's got a real advantage there in the clinch. I mean, Archer took seven centimeter height advantage over Kumpan, and he's 11 years older than him, too. Wealth of experience, 75 fights in his record, and Kumpan's 45. Big right hand from Archer oh. there. And here we go, back into the clinch we go. Oh, these knees are going to, oh, already first round, he's going to be breaking down very soon, Kumpan, if he doesn't do something. Like that, he needs an elbow. And that, and that must be soul destroying to Kumpan. They're hitting Archer with everything that he's got. And Archer just nodding and just saying, is that all you got, buddy? Archer Sook, no, I'm sorry, Kumpan with the warning here for going backwards too much. Oh, sweep attempt there from Kumpan. Not able to get the leverage. Swinging a miss from in there. Oh, tick to the face from Archer Sook. Good balance. Archer Sook looking like a strong, dominant clinch fighter early on in this first round. First time I've seen oh. this guy fight before. Good clinch control from him here. Kneeing the back of Kumpan, scoring really well. Kumpan is in for a long night. If already the clinching knee fighters got going in round one, it's only going to get worse. Oh, big downward elbow there from Archer Sook as well. I like him. Wow. He, okay, fighter tonight already. Fight, unless some, oh, okay, unless okay. something bad happens here, but so far I just like this grind you out style. I'll tell you what I like about him as well. We mentioned it in the, in the last fight. He's got a real Ooh. death stare about him. Here we go. All right, coming into the second round. I guess we both know what we're, I'm getting ready to ask, so. <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling Kunpan? I know what I'm going to tell him, so. Stay on the outside, get away from the clinch, start using your kicks and and teeps a bit more, Get yep. just get away from the clinch. Well, we both said it off air. Archer Sook looks like he wants to end Kunpan, and he's got a, he's just, he's a killer. He's yeah. a straight up killer, this guy. Whoa! And no emotion. Look at that. Didn't even phase him. Big left elbow, though, for Kupan to start the fight. And a yet again, here we go. Classic example of the ego here that we see a lot of. Beautiful. Boy tie, but it paid off for him there. Kupan jumping straight into the clinch and sweeping Archer Sook. Now, how mad is Archer Sook going to be now? <laughs> Look Three, at him. Four, five. Jumping away here in the clinch. I'll just sit with a I don't care attitude. If I'm Kunpan, oh. what I'm doing is he needs to try a rising elbow, left or right. Instead of trying that like horizontal, he needs to just try a rising elbow up the middle. Because Archer just reaching out with both hands to grab him. Just split the middle line. Oh, easier said than done because <laughs> here comes the onslaught. And he's just pushing. He's got a real strong, long lock on. Kumpan here, stabbing Two. elbows there from Archer Sook. I mean, look at this long lock from Archer Sook. I mean, he's being real crafty and pushing his hands right in Kumpan's face as well, restricting his view and restricting, you know, his leverage there, not allowing Kumpan to use his head at all. Better leverage in the clinch. Oh. Long guard here from both these guys, but Archer Sook with the better of the two on the knee exchanges. Oh, big right knee there from Archer Sook, and look how he puts his hip Yeah, he puts his hip straight, st as close as he can to Kumpan to stop him from countering. Goodness gracious. Oh my lord, how many knees can this kid take? I'm going to say not many. Not many more, I mean, because they're just getting bad. He's game, but he's got Kumpan's got to get out of the clinch. I mean, he just you're playing with fire. Yeah, straight up. I mean, ego is a great thing, but look, I'm okay in the clinch, but I'm never gonna fool myself into wanting to engage Yowichai in here. Yeah. I'm running. I mean, this is some people just gonna do some things better than you, so you have to work around it. And it's the same situation. He's fooling himself playing in there with him. Well, this is better from Kumpan. <laughs> I mean, I kind of tried to touch on it at the beginning of the round, that Taigo, where they just want to do, they want to outdo you on what you can, on what you're good at. He's fooling himself playing in there with Archer Sook. It's, 
needs to have some lateral movement about it and step around opposite. Oh. Opposite the really dangerous lock here. Goodness. Kampan just squirming his way out of it. Clock winding down now. Oh. Oh, just it very lucky there. He almost walked into a thunderous elbow. Could have dropped him. End of round two. All right, coming into the third and final round, uh, which been has been a, just a clinch onslaught. Uh, what are you thinking here? What are your thoughts? I'm don't know what to say. To Kun Pan. Well, we kind of Kun. did say it, didn't we? That at the end of the first round, we kind of thinking that Archer that Kumpan needs to change it up here and sort of get away from Archer. That uses footwork with more, uses kicks and teeps. Kind of had a good glimpse of hoping sweeping Archer Sook at the beginning of the round, but then he sort of faded a bit. Archer Sook just came into his own element there. Yeah. I mean, would uh, you know what? I'm going to say what, what, what you said at the beginning, at, and it's towards the end of the first round. Just go for broke. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Big left hand from Kumpan. Straight away, he goes into the clinch, though. You saw it working our first fight of the night. And we were shocked. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Really time sweep there, and the crowd are liking that. Kumpan, wow, another sweep. What did he wait for so long to do this? Kumpan tearing up the script here and going to try and stop Archer Sook from coasting his way to victory here. Come on, if he had this in his arsenal this whole time, he really waited to the last minute to show it. Yeah, he really did. Another sweep! Unbelievable. Where's what? this coming from? I, I mean, I don't know why you wait to the third and final round to start showing you can sweep somebody. I know why. Low hives that. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Likes to keep you, people like you and me on our toes. It's got to be because I don't understand why he would want to do that. He took a barrage before this came. Archer Sook, not Archer Sook Kumpan. Oh, oh again. here you go. I was going to say, is this the second warning for him? This is the second. This is going to hurt him. This yeah. hurts him bad. That's really going to hurt him on the scorecards now. He's doing so well at the beginning of the round, Kumpan. If you're new to the Max Muay Thai format, ladies and gentlemen, if you get up to three warnings in, in a fight, that you can get a point deducted on your scorecard. Oh, big exchange of punches there. Good right hand from Archer Sook. Wobbling Kumpan a little bit. And uh, if you get a warning in the in the round if it's quite close it does go against you on the scorecards too even if it doesn't deduct, even if you haven't had at least three and deduct they deducted haven't deducted the point good low lock from Kumpan but didn't really do anything with it clock winding down now less than a minute to go Kumpan needs to get on his bike here S start getting the broom out and sweep the hell out of Archer Sook Archer Sook has slowed right down now. Yeah, I, I got a feeling Archer Sook thinks that he's comfortably ahead, especially with the two warnings. So, let's see. I mean, we had a shocker in the first one. I don't know if I want to get too comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, we had that last week where we chinked a few of these guys. Yeah. I want to fight to the bitter end here. I mean, because you never know here. It definitely does. Like, oh, a sweep attempt from Kumpan. Archer Sook still staying on his feet though. Good block from Archer Sook again. Referee getting a bit oh. annoyed. He wants more out of these two. End of round three. What did you make of that fight? Well, first, I didn't realize it was that little bit of time though because I thought Coupon was going to get his third warning. Yeah. I mean, but good fight. I, like I said, we were shocked because I don't know why Coupon waited that long. Did like Archer Sook though. I'd like to see him fight a bit more. I mean, yeah. he hasn't record here that good to see, to see on the replay here both these guys handiwork yeah Archer Six only fought here once before so oh he, wow I think he's onto it and he lost his first fight so he's on I think he could safely say he's on his way to Vic all right ladies and gentlemen the final prize Max. 
นับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้โดพรอยส์แม็กซ์มวยไทย Facebook page All right ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of actions we go to the judges scorecard for the winner Red Corner อาชาสุดสอรื่นรม All right ladies and gentlemen we'll be right back after a short break next fight our main event at this It's Muay Thai Fighter!